Hey YouTube, this is uh, Drew Russell, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to t set up my 18 by 18 by 24 uh, Exoterra tank. And what's going to be in here is my tree frog, and when my crested gecko gets a little bit bigger, I'm going to put him back in here. Right now, he is up in uh, that box up there. Um, got this tank last week. It's a nice tank, and I'm just going to show you what I do for my substrate. I have, you can see, sorry, my light, because my camera was messing up, I didn't have my light there. At the bottom, there's hydro balls, and then there's uh, mesh, and then there's eco earth. Hy hydro balls help with the, make sure no moisture gets down to the ground, to the bottom of the tank, and makes it smell. Sorry. Adjust my camera. And now all I put in right now is going to be some fake plants. Um, these are pretty good. I like these. The frog and the gecko love these. And all I do is take this, put it up behind the, the Buddha, which is a great accessory for my tank. I love it. This tank was originally $100, but we got it for $80 because PetSmart's having a huge reptile discount this month. I'm loving it. And here's some more of the same stuff. I love this kind of fake plant. It's pretty expensive though. If you're having a little budget, uh, where you should go to get fake plants would be Michael's. Because I got this and there's a bundle of four of these put together and I only got that for ten dollars. And I think that's a good deal. Put that in the Eagle Earth. And we got this plant for only like five. I'm pretty sure it's like five. That right there. Fanned out. Frog likes it when it's fanned out. And then, next, next thing that is really good, really needed if you're going to have a tree frog or a crusted gecko, bamboo sticks. Bamboo sticks are great because they're easy to bend. And they're easy to find. This local hardware store. Probably if you had a garden, that's where I found mine at. And that's what I like about them because it doesn't have to be perfect because if they're standing up, your frogs will use them or your geckos will use them. My gecko loves them. Just set it up however you would like. I like to call making a tank my art because I'm not good at art. So. Now I can say I'm good at art. Mm. Just design it however you would like. And that doesn't sound good. So I'm probably... And I'm not going to put that there because I don't want my geckos to get hurt. So then I'm just going to put this down in the middle here. Probably like this. Just so they could get this up, this up. Put that right, right, right there. Probably lower because gotta put my top on here. That's basically it. Oh, friend, one thing. Water dish. I like this water dish and hide. It's two in one or three in one actually. It's a water dish, hide, and the basking spot. Really don't need a hide for a gecko. Crested gecko because they're they're probably high in the plants, but it's just just if they need to, and then the water dish. Don't really need one of those either. My frog likes to swim in that because they would crested geckos like to drink off the moisture off the tank. But let's put that in there, kind of hide it. So basically, that's it. One more thing, just uh, pump it up and then do a spray down. And then I'll put my light back up here and give you a closer look in there. And if you see that like little blue thing, that's why my light was down because it was doing a little blue glare thing. Really weird. And there's my thermometer, hydrometer. And then I'll show you my frog. He's right there. And my gecko is in there also. 
Oh, they like each other. And then there's my snake. My gecko is right there. Can't really see him. Now you can see him. But thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, comment below. Any questions, comments, concerns? I'm always looking for some tips. Um, thanks. Bye.